Good morning, this is Xan Black and I have a parachute STEM challenge for you from the Tulsa Regional STEM Alliance. As far back as Leonardo da Vinci, who lived in 1452, people were dreaming of and imagining what a parachute might look like. Alain Normand in 1783 is credited as being the first scientist to actually demonstrate a parachute and how it worked. <clears throat> so if you think about it, the real purpose of a parachute is to slow the motion of something as it goes through the atmosphere by creating drag or to kind of slow it down, go in the opposite direction of the way it's wanting to go. So here's some wonderful drawings of different types of parachutes. You might have seen a parachute behind like a drag car when they're going super fast and they need to slow down super fast, <clears throat> they pop a parachute. Or paratroopers in the old war movies you see them coming down under these big canopy parachutes like that the space shuttle also pops a chute to slow it down upon re-entry and then here's a hang glider who's got this cool like arc shaped parachute the parts of the parachute are uh, the canopy which is the big kind of shield or sail that's exactly what it is as a sail the lines are super important because they connect whatever you're trying to slow down to the parachute. And then these risers kind of connect the lines to the person or the uh, cap or the space shuttle that you're trying to slow down. This really works off of Newton's second law of motion, which said force equals mass times acceleration. And we don't really think about it, but we're all accelerating all the time on the earth. Um, our acceleration is gravity. So if you take two things like I have this uh, Walmart bag and I have this roll of tape and you drop them at the same time you might go wow the tape will certainly hit the floor first because it's quite a bit heavier but let's see what happens oh nope they hit about the same time right check it again watch dropping them at the same time they hit at the same time and that's because gravity's pulling on both of them at the same time but something interesting happens where we can actually change the acceleration based on the shape of something. So here's that same Walmart bag that's crumpled up and here's one that's open so it can have drag, which will reduce its acceleration. So I'm gonna try my best to drop these at the same time and see what happens. So I'm dropping them. Do you see the difference? Watch, I'll show you again. This one's crumpled up, this one is not. Ready, set, go. So the one that was crumpled up, even though they're the exact same thing, dropped way faster than this guy because this began to act like a parachute. Now it's really important that the parachute has time to open, right? So if I dropped them even closer to the floor, like three inches above the floor, they would probably hit about the same time. But because I raised them up in the air, there was time for air to fill the Walmart bag, which was a parachute. So your challenge today is to create a parachute for an egg um, so that when the egg hits the floor, it doesn't break. You wanna provide a safe landing. Now I know a lot of you have probably done egg drops before and the deal is you just wrap the egg in as much stuff as possible. You know, a marshmallow, a pillow, bubble wrap, blah, 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 blah. And that's a cool challenge, but this one is different. Uh, this one, you're really focusing on building a parachute that will slow the uh, descent of the egg down enough so that it doesn't break. So here are the materials that you can use, and only these, but any substitution, of course, is fine. So you get one large trash bag or Walmart bag or whatever bag like that that you can find. You get a yard of tape, <clears throat> and it doesn't matter if you have masking tape, that's awesome. If you have scotch tape, that's also great, or duct tape, any kind of tape will work. 20 straws, I didn't have straws, so I'll show you what I used instead of straws. A rubber band is good, it acts as a, a safety belt for the egg. Uh, you need some kind of a cup, like a paper cup, plastic cup, or a styrofoam cup. You'll need about four yards of string, and you need a sandwich bag and an egg, and it's super important because you don't wanna wreck your house or make a mess on the carpet or whatever. Always keep the egg that you're building the parachute for inside the sandwich bag with it closed because this is science. So sometimes, you know, the egg may not make it. So we need to be sure and keep that 
egg inside the sandwich bag. So here's a couple that I built and tried. This one, you can see my little safety belt. And there's my egg inside a Ziploc. And here's my riser, or I'm sorry, my lines. And then this is just a Walmart bag with nothing inside. This is my canopy. Then I thought about, well, gosh, if I could give it some structure and make it hold itself open, it might work better. So I made something like straws because I didn't have straws out of newspaper, just little tubes. And I ran the lines through the tubes like that and I put them inside the bag. So now my parachute has a little more structure and you can see it's still connected to the cup with my safety belt and my egg inside. So be sure to either like if your parents will let you or if you're tall, like stand up on a chair, get up on a ladder, something you need some height because if you drop a parachute super low to the ground, it doesn't have time to open and it's not a parachute at all. It's just extra weight. The other thing in aviation that you're always worrying about is weight versus structure. So um, it's going to be good to have a lot of structure, almost like the inside of an umbrella. But the bad thing is that adds weight, which then, you know, kind of undoes what you're trying to do with the parachute. So kind of think about the, the lightest thing you can do to provide structure and keep the chute or the Walmart bag in this case open as long as possible so that your egg has a really safe ride. I can't wait to see the parachutes you create. Have fun with the STEM challenge.